Hi, this is Mike Scoopin from Survivor Australia, and you're watching the local news network, Channel 18 on your cable station, and it's almost as good as Survivor. <laughs> My favorite holiday is Halloween. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Denise, and today is October 9th, and we're again back up here in Heartland with our good friend Tom Tyson, the Turkey Man, and he's got some good turkeys for you guys this Thanksgiving. So, Tom, why don't you tell everybody about your turkeys because they are really, you know, they're all. Uh, we range and we raise them without any sort of chemicals or drug. It's a uh, it's a free range method, uh, which means they have access to the outside. Uh, they uh, they get lots of fresh air sunshine like today mm -hmm. and uh, people really like them and you can really I've, I've had his turkeys now for this is the third year yeah. I think in a row yes. and what a difference in the taste we're gonna do ours on the grill yeah we have a lot of people at the grill uh, another becoming real popular lately has been the uh, uh, method of uh, deep frying which uh, people pick up a 12 to 15 pound and they deep fry it it uh, the feedback seems to be pretty good on it. People seem to say it's it's different, uh, and and it works well for them, and and they enjoy it. So if you want a turkey this this Thanksgiving, a nice fresh turkey, you got to call Tom ahead of time and reserve one because they go pretty quick. Why don't you give me your phone number? Before or two days before? Right. If they're requesting one that's uh, fresh, uh, they're available the day before Thanksgiving from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Uh, we definitely recommend that you make your reservations way in advance because they always sell out. Okay, well, we're going to go over and uh, meet the turkeys. Uh, Terry with an eye. She's, uh, <laughs> she, she was hatched on the 9th of August. She's wearing her harvest hat today. Looking forward to Thanksgiving. <laughs> I bet. She, she has no clue. <laughs> No, that's one thing about turkeys is they're a little, they're a little challenged when it comes to mental capacity. Yeah. So tell them what some of the food you give them. Well, our birds are raised in a free, free range method, which means uh, they have access to the outdoors. We, we keep them inside the uh, barn, and then in the morning we let them out, and they uh, eat uh, foods that are like corn and, uh, and soy, and uh, there's no chemicals added. We use no antibiotics. Great. Uh, unlike... Um, Commercial birds, which are raised in cages, some built some some turkey barns hold over 10,000 turkeys. Wow. Um, we we uh, we raise them, and the, and the free range method permits us the um, to to raise them without antibiotics, which the larger commercial growers do. And the turkeys get lots of exercise, lots of open room to to run around, and so the the, the result is you get a uh, a turkey that doesn't have a lot of fat, that's full of flavor that you often don't find in, in commercial birds that you buy, you know, through your local supermarket. Well, tell them the best way to cook a turkey. Well, we, For those, you know, those new, those new mothers or, you know, newlyweds out there that she's never cooked a turkey. Well, you know, ours, it's relatively easy. A lot of places use, uh, people say use cooking bags. Uh, we don't recommend it. There's enough juice in this bird that you don't need a cooking bag. We don't, we don't pump them full of butter flavor and water like the commercial birds. We say put it in a pan. Make a little tent out of aluminum, cook it until uh, it gets a temperature of uh, internal temperature of 185 degrees. Uh, these turkeys will grow, or grow, I should say, will will um, will will be ready much faster than a store-bought bird. For instance, we had a, bir a bird that was uh, 30 pounds that uh, was done in six hours. Generally, you lose uh, your, your cooking time is reduced by a third when you use a uh, a free-range bird. And so, um, well, how do you go cook your turkeys most of the time? In the oven? In the oven. That's how we do it, the old-fashioned way. Yeah. But though we are thinking about trying uh, the deep-fry method, we keep hearing so much about. Yeah, well, I've had the deep-fried. They're excellent. Our neighbors do it, do it quite often for their Halloween party. And yeah. I've been out to quite a few parties where they're deep-frying them. But we haven't tried that. But like I said, we do the, uh, the grill and that. Oh, wow. It's just un unbelievable. In fact, the last time we cooked it on the grill was your turkey, and there, it was just bones left. There was nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, we often hear that, and we'll tell people, I mean, they, they recommend a, a one to one and a half pounds per person, and when you decide how big, or how much turkey you should buy, and in most cases, people now will often buy two pounds because they want leftovers. People eat a little more than the, 
they normally do because they, they're just surprised at the taste and they come back year after year. They really like what we're doing. In fact, uh, this year, one of the way, what we're considering trying is uh, called a turducken. It's where you take a chicken, a turkey, and a duck and put it all together and cook it. And so this year we're uh, offering uh, ducks for the first time. In fact, we've even got some guinea, guinea hens that we uh, are going to offer for sale if people would like to try them. Tom, I see you have a lot of different kind of birds back here. you got chickens and what else? Uh, of course, we got the turkeys. The uh, we have uh, the chickens. We keep two types. One is the uh, the meat bird, which is a cross between the uh, Cornish uh, hen and a white leghorn. It's a real meaty bird. Uh, the other uh, chickens you see right out here, these are egg layers. They're all free range. Uh, they spend their days walking around the yard, and then we collect the eggs and sell them. What are the black and white chickens? Those are barred rocks. That's a real heavy, what they call a heavy breed. They're real real good in the wintertime. They can, they can go through without any problems. The brown ones are the Isa. And then we've also got the ducks. This is something new for us. To, we thought we'd raise a few just to make our own turduckins and see how it works out. <laughs> yeah. And we've got the guinea hens uh, that we raise. We also have lamb uh, that we raise. We sell them for both 4-H uh, uh, groups and then also for people that want to rip for meat. Okay. And why don't you tell them the difference then again on the free range versus commercial grown? Well, like on your commercial grown uh, uh, turkey, they're they're kept in cages, uh, they're kept in buildings, uh, sometimes houses in excess of 10,000 birds. Because they're in close confines and they have a chance to be sick, uh, they, they put antibiotics into their water. Mm -hmm. And that does two things. It tries to keep them healthy because sickness in a tight confines could wipe out an entire flock. But it also, the other side benefit of the, for the grower is that the antibiotics make the chicken grow faster. But when you're done, what you've got is a, a turkey that is basically flavorless and mm -hmm. is full of drugs. They inject them with butter flavorings water. And, and water, everything they can do to try to make it juicy. But in our method of, of growing them, which is free range, uh, I take those birds and I make sure, that, number one, they get no drugs. They get plenty of fresh air. Every night they, are, they, are, they go back into the, uh, <laughs> that's right, every night, every night they go back into the, uh, the turkey house. They have roosts that they can sit on, so they he, have plenty of room. He's quacking up. Yeah. <laughs> and they, that they sit on, which keeps them off the ground so they don't get blisters like a lot of the um, commercial birds get where they're raised, uh, you know, they're raised in cages. So they get exercise, they get water, the same water we drink right out of the well with the minerals and all. Mm -hmm. And that exercise keeps the fat down on them so that you get a, a very meaty bird. You also get a lot of flavor that you generally do not find in a commercial bird. And I think that's what brings the people back year after year is that once they've had our turkey, they drive that extra distance. They come yeah. up here, they... Um, uh, to, to get that bird again because they remember the meal yeah. where people that buy commercial they look and they say who's got his bird on special because they all taste the same they all taste flavorless I know, I know. you know once you have one of these kind of birds i mean which is going back the way it used to be you, you right. do, there's just no comparison so you, you get hooked and you want and people are more health conscious today too i think what they're eating well of course yes they are and uh, because you are like the turkeys you are what you eat if mm -hmm. you if you eat bad food you know it's not good for you the turkeys same way um our birds are healthy and you know we think they're happy yeah and I, yeah and you'd rather eat a happy bird wouldn't you than a than a sick bird <laughs> that's, that's right and we we don't have problems with being sick because they they're out in the fresh air you 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 are healthier when you're outdoors than when you're confined in a building with uh you know one thousand of your ten thousand yeah. of your contemporaries all sitting next to you bumping into each other and picking off the floor and eating who knows what and well i don't see why the commercial people just don't raise them this way i mean what's you know if they, they build a great big building what's the difference if they make it so the birds can you know what i mean well exactly and they, even the government has gotten into it now because they a lot of the growers are losing business to people that raise in a healthy manner like we do yeah. and so what they've done is they've come out with a federal guideline that says uh, free range means they have to have access to the outside. Now, what's outside could be a parking lot, you know, for all we know. And so we say is, no, we're, they're going to go outside and they're going to be on grass and they're going to and they're going to eat bugs and they're going to eat anything that a natural turkey, Would keep eat. it as, yeah, as right. natural as we can keep it. We're going to keep the drugs out of it. We're going to give them lots of water, lots of fresh air, sunlight, whatever we can do to make their life, you know, stress-free so that we get a real flavorful yeah. bird. Wow. 
So you guys, really, come on up here and call right away and reserve your turkey because otherwise you're not going to get one. And he's got, these turkeys go really fast. They sell out every year. Yeah. Every year they're gone. Yeah, next year he's probably going to have more. But really, if you want a real treat, you want a real healthy turkey, a real good-tasting turkey, one, you know, call Tom at 248 248- <laughs>